We're back at the EB5 Investor Magazine U Global event, and we're talking to EB5's top professionals. And I'm standing with Kate Kalmakov at Greenberg Troy. Kate, we wanted you to introduce yourself and your firm to the EB5 Investor community. So go ahead. Hi, everyone. My name is Kate Kalmakov. I chair the Global Immigration Group at Greenberg Troy. I've been doing EB5 for close to 20 years. We've processed thousands of investor 526s, adjustment of status, immigrant visas, and 829s. We work with people from all over the world to document their source of funds, prepare their petitions for filing, advising them on immigrant visa processing, concurrent filings, removal of conditions, dealing with advanced issues like RFEs, NOIDs, transfer of funds. And of course, we help people with getting interim work visas, student visas, naturalization once they go through the process. So we do the full suite of immigration services. 2023, we had the RIA policy start. We're now in full swing. First full year, fully intact. Lawsuits over, we're back to work. For the EB-5 investor, what is the number one improvement that we see with the RIA policy? The RIA really focused on giving investors protection and a feeling of comfort that the investments are going to be monitored by USCIS. They, for the first time, are doing mandatory site visits. Financials have to be submitted annually. There's tracking of how funds are spent. There's a new requirement for a fund administrator or audited financials. And all of this is meant to give investors a sense of comfort that they're going into something that is being supervised by the government, reviewed, and you know to prevent fraud. With EB-5 investor filings, you're about to go into that 526, you reviewed all the sorts of fund stocks, you know who they are, you're about to make the filing. How certain can you be whether they're going to be approved or denied just by you having their documents? So as I said, I've been doing this close to 20 years. I have a very, very high approval rate. And I typically will warn investors, this case is solid, it's going to go through. And where there are concerns, I address them with them. We really try to resolve everything in terms of providing what's needed. And it's definitely an expansion of documents that are now needed under the RIA. And I know pretty well what's going to happen once it gets into the hands of USCIS because I've been monitoring these adjudications for many years. We liaise with the EB-5 unit, my colleagues, and I used to be on the AILA EB-5 committee. And so we're very attuned to what's happening in Congress, what's happening in the agency, and how these files are reviewed and decided. One last question. Greenberg, a storied firm, a lot of history. Like, What makes Greenberg's EB-5 practice different than some other attorneys? The Greenberg Traurig EB-5 practice is unique in that one, we're a full service law firm, so we do corporate securities, real estate tax, so we can offer our investors the full suite of services. We can do due diligence, we can do their tax and estate planning, we can help them set up businesses once they come to the United States, so we really offer the full suite of services. But we have an approach where we operate like a boutique, so they always have access to their attorneys, their partners, their associates whoever they're working with and know that their work will be reviewed and that they will get a response. The second thing that really sets out our EB-5 practice is that we have a very robust immigration practice and knowing the immigration law very well informs the practice of EB-5 because it helps us to develop strategies to bring them here faster, to help them address their workforce needs if they're opening businesses here. Many are entrepreneurs in their home country and when they come to the U.S. they want to continue in that vein. So we're really able to advise them on all of the EB-5 immigration considerations, corporate securities considerations, and anything else that they need. Kate, thank you very much. Greenberg